So tomorrow we leave this area and head to our next destination. Yeah, tomorrow's gonna be a travel day. We'll be on the road for a good part of the day. We're gonna try to put some miles. We're actually leaving California um, after about two months and we are heading, actually almost three months. Okay. And we are heading back towards Arizona, but we're not getting to Arizona right yet. We've got some places in mind that you're gonna have to wait and see the next video to, to check out. Welcome back to Zephyr's Travels. I'm Randy and this week we're bringing you a little bit of a travel video. We are currently in the middle of the desert, but we'll get to that later. Let's go back to where we started from. We started this trip at our campground just outside of Sacramento in Woodland, California. And this was going to be a travel day, and we were going to travel uh, a pretty good distance. So it was going to break it up over a couple of days. So we left Woodland. We got on to California 99 and took that through the Central Valley of California, which, I don't know, everyone always complains that the Central Valley of California is not that interesting to travel through. But we found it pretty enjoyable. A lot of nice farmland and such. It was interesting. We drove down through Fresno and Bakersfield and at Bakerfield we turned and we got Interstate 15. Now Interstate 15 started taking us towards Las Vegas but we wanted to break this drive up and didn't want to do it all in one drive so when we got to Barstow we pulled into a Harvest Host location called Peggy Sue's 50's Diner and we spent the night there. We had a really nice dinner and we were able to camp in the parking lot. And let's show you some little bit of video of that. Well, we've been on the road for eight hours, made it to our destination for the night and for dinner. This is Peggy Sue's 50s Diner. And it's actually a Harvest Host, but I don't think you really need to be a Harvest Host member to stay here the night. You can just pull in their parking lot and park. So we're gonna go in, grab something to eat, and then camp out in our trailer tonight.
at a Harvest Host location in California. It's right along Highway 15 near Barstow along, or actually we're in the Mojave Desert. It's called Peggy Sue's 50s themed diner and we had our dinner and I, we both have to agree that the food was excellent. The service was very speedy. We didn't wait very long at all for our food. And afterwards we took a tour around the restaurant and they do also have a small five and dime um, souvenir type store with all different memorabilia, different themes. They have Elvis, my number one, um, Lucy, I uh, can't remember where else, Mickey Mouse, so yeah, if you know, if you enjoyed that type of stuff, they do also offer pizza as well. And uh, but we prefer to have some traditional dinners. But like I said, it's a Harvest House location. It appears to be a very popular stop, not only amongst our viewers, but also truck stop, truckers. So it's well worth the stop. And um, yeah, we are going to spend the night here. Now Peggy Sue's 50s Diner is a harvest host, but really it you could anyone can pull in there and spend the night. It's a little bit more like a truck stop than it is just a harvest host. Uh, but we spent the night there and then we decided, you know, we got up early, started taking the second leg of our trip, which was gonna take us into Nevada. And <laughs> this is where I kind of did something a little bit not the brightest thing. Uh, I probably should have filled up when I left there. I had about a half a tank and I probably should have topped the tank up to a full tank. But I didn't, thinking, well, if I put a few miles on this tank, then the next tank will get me to my destination. So we drove probably about 30 miles, 30 to 50 miles, and I needed to fill up. And we pulled into the next largest town, which had multiple fueling stations, and gas prices were outrageous. We just stopped for gas here. And this is probably the most expensive gas we've seen. $6.49 a gallon. Um, we've kind of decided we're not gonna fill it. We're gonna just do about a half a tank, which should get us into Nevada. And then from there, we can pick up some cheaper gas, hopefully. We topped the tank off with about a half a tank. And we continued our drive and we got towards Las Vegas, just outside of Las Vegas at Henderson, and we pulled in and filled up there. And well, we were able to stop and find a place to get gas a little bit more reasonable than $6.50 a gallon. We paid $5.20, which I guess today is a good Ooh, price, at least for uh, Nevada. Uh, we've got a full tank and about 100 miles left to go, so we're back on the road. Um, but we did that. We continued our drive through Las Vegas. the Virgin River dispersed camping area and so the Virgin River is like just over here and this is just basically desert camping you know and it's not the prettiest part of the desert the ground is pretty rocky and, and such but we needed this spot because my stepmother lives in Mesquite and we wanted to see her hadn't seen her in a year so we pulled in here um, spent a couple of days and last night we met my stepmother and her daughter and had dinner with them. So it was worthwhile to come here and, and stop and see them and camp here. Now we're going to continue our drive. We're going to our next camping place. is a place we've been to before 
And it's a place where we had, I'm not going to say a bad experience because there was nothing wrong with the campground, but it's, it's going to be more boondocking. Um, but we had an issue when we were there before with our batteries. And if you remember that video, um, if not, I'll, I'll link it up above. So we're going to head there next um, today, and we'll show you a video of that place once we get there. But we're going to save all that for our next video. In the meantime, please do us a big favor, like this video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already, and leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Until the next time, guys, we will see you down the road.